Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Last week we spoke on the size of the penis <laughs> we're gonna talk a little bit some about that as well tonight and we're also going to be talking about body size because also body size ladies and gentlemen sometimes that is a discussion that we need to have because we always have our little preference and sometimes that throws us off when we talk about sex don't it because we don't want to have sex with persons that have too much bone don't it men you want to have a little cushion for the pushing, don't it? Yeah, man, so she have to have little lumps here and there and some little swells and some little roll and, yeah. But then we also have those men who don't want any woman with any little extra fluff. And that can turn off and throw off when we start having our relations all right so we're talking about sex and size size and sex does it matter should it matter and how does it affect how we have our sexual relations listen to me we're gonna have a great great talk today but before we go into that you know we have to have our self-check exercise ladies and gentlemen so as you know how we do it you have to take a deep breath in whether you want to do it loudly or silently you're going to repeat after me i am present and in the moment I welcome the information that will be presented tonight with an open mind. I am committed to pleasing my partner. I am ready to learn and to practice. I will comment and share my experiences to enhance tonight's session. I am ready. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Because I'm ready. I, I am, am so very, very ready, ready, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to me. Of me. course, you know we have to bring our Holy Spirit in. So we're going to have a little prayer session right now. Lord, we are so thankful for your gifts. And Lord God, you give good gifts. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for the gift of or relationship that we have. I want to thank you for the gift of sex because Lord God, you blessed it and you said that it was good. And Lord God, for many, it has been good, but we know that for others, they struggle. I pray Lord God that through this show, that many will come to the realization that sex can be enjoyable and pleasurable. And that, Lord God, this show will help to unlock a lot of things that they've kept hidden. And, Lord God, it will lead them to the path of enjoying sex with their partner even more. Thank you for all you've done already through this show. And we're just excited to see where it takes us and where it takes couples in the future. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tonight's scripture is taken from, once again, 1 Corinthians 7, verses 3 to 6. And we're reading from the New International Version. And it reads... 
The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife's body does not belong to her alone, but also to her husband. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to him alone, but also to his wife. Do not deprive each other except by mutual consent and for a time so that you may devote yourself to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. I say this as a concession, not as a command. Now let me kind of look at this particular scripture that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. Now he spoke about the fact that we have our duty to our wives and our husbands and our marital duty as it relates to our body says that, listen to me, and not just you one alone, it belongs to when you get married, ladies and gentlemen, your body, it is not just yours alone anymore. And some persons might not agree with that. But the Bible is showing us that when you become one, it means that you are one flesh. And because you are one flesh, it means that you belong to each other. You have each other. You are responsible for what happens to the person's body, especially as it relates to your marital duty. All right? So if I am responsible for what happens to my husband as it relates to my marital duty, especially in the bedroom, that's a high honor for me. And because it's a high honor, I am going to do what needs to be done to make sure that my marital duty is fulfilled. And when you look at the scripture, your marital duty not fulfilled until the person enjoy themselves, you know. Enough people not go like that. Enough people not go like that. Because your marital duty is not done until the person is satisfied. Woo! Because my husband body belong to me and my my body belong to him and if i'm going to do my marital duty right that has to also be a part of it where i satisfy my husband or he satisfies me that is how no say the marital duty is truthfully complete now for we consummate marriage and all we do are just bam, 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 and done. And we think, say, yeah, man, I'm a marital duty that, and it consummate, and it legal, and re, re, re. But we're not looking on that other part of it where we have to be committed to our marital duty. Remember, so when we are doing duty out of road, you know, we do it right. But when it comes to our marital duty, we shirk it. And we want to fix it up right, and we want to do it how we're supposed to do it. But no. This show is telling you that your marital duty isn't to just bam, bam, bam and done, but your marital duty is also to bam, 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 do it right and done. Tonight, we also have with us the Apostle Faith. She was with us last week and we are back with her to have a whole lot of of fun welcome oh, Apostle <laughs> oh my goodness i'm excited yes, to be here again lady am, yes i am excited to have lady you here i am so excited to have you here listen lady faith i was just talking about lady our marital lady. duty and the fact that our marital duty needs to also be done right That's you right. know what i'm saying exactly. our marital duty is not just to Okay, have sex and then roll over. I'm done. But our marital duty is also supposed to be done right. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be done take right. Your time, take your time, take your time. Come on, man. Take your time. 
Enjoy it. What a Russian favorite. It's where it's from. Oh, come over there. It, warm bomb, thank you, ma'am. You gotta come no, 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 no. Come out of that. Warm bomb, no, thank you. Yes, you know. No, thank you. No, no thank you. Enjoy it. I know exactly. some of them many when them when they reach to the level of ecstasy, all of a sudden you lie down there like, okay, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? You, get no pleasure. you know what I'm saying? You enjoy Nothing. yourself, but I'm still waiting. Nothing. And you know, I, I I like the whole fact of marital duty because a part of our marital duty yes. and the whole idea of the fact that the body, the husband's body belongs to the wife, the wife's body belongs That's to right. the wife. That's right. That's correct. Is the appreciation of everything the body is. That's right. That's correct. Every single thing that body comes with. So whether that body comes with a fat ass, or the body comes with small boobs, Working. or the body comes with a big long penis, uh -huh. or the body comes with a medium sized penis. Uh huh. We are supposed to appreciate it and make the person feel like they are loved for the body that they have. That you now have come into responsibility for. Yeah, but you have to learn how to manage it. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, of course. And it's a skill, of it's course. a skill to manage it. Trust especially me. If, especially if it's big. Oh, <laughs> yes, man, come on. Big, and you know, <laughs> I, you know, I always come with my props, Lady Faith. Well, that's good. I always come with my props. So in my bags, my bag of tricks today, mm -hmm. We are representing something that is probably not of average. Size. I, I need to get some more bag of tricks to like what you have here. Oh my god! So this is a what is a massive, a massive yes, size. That's a, that's a you know what I'm saying? And a lot of women will go crazy over a size like this, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they cannot handle something like this. And sometimes, ladies, the body ain't made for this mm -hmm. remember what we said about the average um size right mm -hmm. ladies mm -hmm. the average size of a penis that is not erect is 3.3 is 3.66 inches and if it is erect it is 4.59 inches now when we look at the vagina and how deep the vagina is remember when we said unstimulated it could be 2.75 inches to about three and a quarter inches and then when she's aroused it is increased to 4.25 inches this my viewers thank you for joining us erin thank you so much mm -hmm. um and others all of this is bigger than 4.25 inches it's longer 4.75 inches it's longer so can you imagine you're probably this deep and you're taking the rest of this sometimes we can't manage it and we swear that we can't take anything and it ruins us it ruins us. We can't angle it. You get what I'm saying? So we have yeah. to appreciate what our husbands have. So if he has a 4.75 inch penis or a 5.5 inch penis, don't put any pressure upon him. Forget bigger. That's There's true. No pressure on him to get That's bigger. True. That is what you are blessed with. You now have the responsibility to appreciate him, love on him as if he had the most massive penis and help him to please you. Help him to please you in spite I, of well, appreciate it, appreciate it. Of course, of course, of course. We have to do that. We have to do that. And 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 ladies and gentlemen. I also want to talk about the size of the person's body. Remember, you are given um, your husband and your wife to love in every single way. 
you're supposed to appreciate what they have da, 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 da. how is it now ladies and gentlemen all of a sudden you, you just don't like the body where the woman have all of a sudden you start have problem with all the facts that she have no big breasts and you mm -hmm. want her to have breast enlargements and then when you look on her bottom you say oh god me can't smack it oh me like it <laughs> all sorts of problems start happening how how and not to mention those persons who you know they married a stick now i want to say i don't want to say stick figure but you, you married a slim nice lady and then you know now get on in a relationship and have a couple of children and then she start get a little rotund mm -hmm. and you're now disgusted by how she looks how do you think that makes her feel you know what i'm saying how do you think that makes her feel of course she can't feel very confident especially if every day you find find if you tell her say oh i liked it better when you were slim oh why don't you lose some weight oh this that 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 come on she cannot feel confident and if your woman gentlemen doesn't feel confident about how she looks and you don't make her feel desired and you don't make her feel like she's everything to you how do you think she's going to be in that frame of mind for sex it's not going to be a good frame of mind she's going to be in so that she can open her oh, floor to you. you so the size it shouldn't matter because it's the person you married not the shape of them body not the size of her bottom you married the person you married her personality you married the love that she gives to you it doesn't change should it does it it should not change based on how her body stays and people don't understand that listen the confidence that a woman carries when she loses it she loses so many other things she loses her sex her sex drive it affects her sex drive and i must say for the men too when they don't feel confident because of how their woman starts to tease them about how they are and all of that they themselves lose their confidence and you find that even then that starts to affect other things so it starts to affect how long they stay sometimes it it affects their their stamina so many other things that it affects because they feel confident and you as their person they don't you don't make them feel confident about who they are so the question still remains ladies and gentlemen should size matter in christian marriages in any marriage or relationship at all should size matter now according to healthline.com they talk about some things so we're going to talk about those three things that they spoke about they said one bigger isn't necessarily better and this is as it relates to penises bigger than average penises have been associated with a higher risk of injury and infection now remember i just showed you a model penis or a, a, a dildo and i showed you how long it is and the fact of the matter is that women when they're rose their depth is 4.75 inches now when you think of a length like that going into a vagina that is 4.75 inches you have a realize say, some positions is going to be very very painful and women who have experienced them kind of big long journey them know matter about come on no matter about you know 
on a no say sometimes the work kind of acts on a no say on a under pressure on a under agony and on a still want it me say all one in a belly but i'm cramp up when i still a take it all one in a can walk when i feel like say on a must take it but look at you feeling all this pain for the love that you're supposed to be making right so bigger is it not always better because that can be uncomfortable this is you after um the whole sex with that person you are experiencing a whole lot of pain associated with sex and then you are even probably causing internal damage so ladies you might think that must have have uh, a big penis but it ain't always the best thing to do all right it sometimes is not the best thing to do so bigger isn't necessarily better ladies and gentlemen and too much girth too can cause tearing right you ever having sex with the the person who is a, a big on a bit on the bigger side, especially if you don't use like lubrication and da da da, it causes a burning sensation if you're not properly lubricated. It causes tearing if you're not proper, properly lubricated, and also just something that if you're doing like anal sex that and stuff like that, oh yeah it can definitely cause some damage so you have to think about that all right when you are talking about i want a bigger penis all right so bigger isn't always better ladies and gentlemen another thing is that smaller isn't necessarily bad a smaller penis is automatically easier to handle that's what healthline says that's which right. means all involved can focus on pleasure rather than pain or trying to figure out how you're going to fit that into there stuff like that you are now focused on okay this is all about pleasure let's get it on let's do this thing and you're not worried about okay it's gonna be painful or this or that everything is just going to fit in the right socket it's gonna fit in the right side i got some love on that a while ago i got some love on that yes man and i can focus on the right something then you're not gonna tell him but you're not about cream you're just gonna go on with it you know what i'm saying and also when you think about smaller you cannot fit it into small pace um spaces so you can okay. fit it in your mouth you know if you have small hands like i do you know you can fit it around your hand and be able to fillet it properly if you're doing stuff like that and also if you are the type of person who likes anal sex it's easier to fit in your bum it's easier to fit in your in your rectum if it's a smaller penis you get what I'm saying? And like any penis size, any perceived shortcomings, ladies and gentlemen, are easily and enjoyably rectified with the right position. But let me also say that some positions are not for persons who have smaller penises. That's right. And also not for smaller penises who are having sex with bigger bodies let me just say that again some <laughs> positions are not for smaller penises that's or right for smaller penises that are having sex with bigger bodies so listen to me if you know say you have like a three inch or a four inch don't put a big body girl panabakas <laughs> because it's always, always drop out it's not gonna work it's not gonna work <laughs> It's a go always drop out. Yeah, that's right. So, so please no say maybe missionary a year or something. 
And listen to me. You see the girl with the thick thighs that save lives? She can't ride a four inch or a three inch penis. No, she can't. She can't. So not work. You know, like when them say you must act your wage and act your age, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to act your penis size. So don't try to do porn stars like you're a porn star and you have like four inches and and three inches. No. But but lady but lady G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what if you know a lot of times uh when you're when you are a Christian, you know you're not supposed to have sex before you get married. Mm -hmm. um, true, true, true. So how are you going to adjust? Because one of the things I've done. And I've shared this with people. Uh, you could tell if that thing is alive if you get close. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a hug. So it. It. Just a hug and trust yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. it will stand to attention. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you yes. know exactly oh, what yes. the size is. You know, you know, you know. Um, this weekend I was in Wisconsin, <laughs> Lady Faith. Right. And somebody was telling me the science behind the whole bulge and all of right. that. Uh -huh. And somebody said, if you can feel the bulge or see the bulge, it's right. not big. But it's the ones that are concealed. Really? They have the heavy heart artillery. Get out of town. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's well, you learn something sticking new. out. She said it's not sticking out. Okay, but it is going hanging down. down. Oh Lord! Oh so Lord! So it's hanging down. So that's is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing when it's not it's sticking not. out because when it's sticking out, that's all it can do. It can just stick out. So it, it's I'm just saying we make that we make that connection. But what do you make that connection? Whether or not it's go, it's not gonna hang down, it's gonna stick out anyway. It's gonna bulge. It's gonna, it's gonna bulge. bulge. It's, it's gonna, gonna bulge. bulge. It's gonna bulge. Up. Up. That's right. But it's not bulge something up. that's yeah. gonna stick out. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what about that guy? Remember I told you that guy that had that seven or eight, what ten inches or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ten or more size. It was this long. So it, it was, was half on his leg. leg. How do you manage that? I I don't know which woman. No. Over. No, she can just take. A little at a time, and and that's the thing with a lot of lube, yeah, and nothing that is rough. She definitely cannot handle something that is very rough. No rough sex but for that so someone long. with that. Yeah, but the she man, can, you know. But long. as I said, only a little at a time. Remember, the vagina can only what four. That's if you find. That's if you so find a lady. But that's if you find a lady that's going to handle that. That's true, and he will. He and I will. love to find if he did find somebody because I felt he bad will. when I saw oh, yeah. he could find nobody. <laughs> he will, he will. Yeah. And the thing, the good thing about the vagina is that it does stretch, it can it elongate, and all of that. But as I said, you have to take time with a size like that. Of course, you have to take time. It take days. Oh my. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please join us next time for the continuation of this episode. Stay tuned.